Okay. So let's wake the body up. I want to start with the legs wide today. We don't need any props at the moment. Just let's bring those feet parallel, nice and wide. And just kind of rock from side to side. So push through your toes. So wake up your ankle. Wake up the arch of your foot. Wake up your toe joints, that big toe really. Finding your balance as you tick from one side to the other. Good, we'll come back to center, both feet down and start to bend your knees. So you're now going side to side because you bend your knee. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center, straight legs and shoulders up and back. Four, three, two, one, roll it down, nod the chin, allow the way the head to take you, hands to fall down in front of you, bend the knees, stretching those hamstrings, lift your bum high and bend, lift and bend, lift, lower, two, one, soften those knees, roll it back up, sweeping through the belly, drop the tailbone, open the chest and shoulders up and back, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna add in a little side stretch. Let's take that right hand up and over to the left. Come back up. Let's go left arm up and over to the right. Good, and up. Let's only go to the left. So reach that right arm up. Come back, stand tall. And again, right arm up. And up. Two more, over. One more, reach over. Soften your knees and fall down to your left foot and down between both feet and roll up through the center, stack the spine, lift the chest, drop the shoulders. Good. Hands back out, left arm up and over, side bend and back to vertical. Repeat, up and over and up and two. And the last one, hold it over. Soften those knees, fall down to your right foot and between your feet and roll it up. Let's take that circle a few more times. Hands up, right arm over to the left, soften the, nose, the knees down and roll it up. So it's a nice half circle. Reach to the right and around and up. Again, over to the left, bend those knees down. Try to relax your head. Let the head fall to the floor. Let's go one more each side. It feels very nice. And around. And last one. Good. And up. Stand tall. Shoulders. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. I want you to grab your dumbbells. Let's keep those legs nice and wide. And let's just go to our taps side to side, allowing those arms to swing. We're going right and left, right and left. Pull into that low belly. Feel the front of those abdominals engaging, those ribs closing together. Four, three, two. Changing those arms to a punch. Left arm across, switch. Good, four, three, two, arms back down, side to side. Good, let's bring those hands back up to our shoulders, reach them up and over, left arm over the ear, reach, reach. Find that stretch down the side of the ribs, under the armpit, try to elongate through that elbow joint. Good, two, last one, arms back down, side to side. Good, we're gonna keep the arms here. Flex the feet, pull them back. Left heel, right heel, left heel, right. Let that opposite arm reach forward toward the corner. So your foot pulls back and the arm reaches forward. No higher than the shoulder, no higher than the collarbone. I'm not quite getting that high. 
just based off of timing that I want to toss it. And I want to keep those abdominals engaged, my lower back nice and supported here. Four, two, one, down, just tap the floor. Good. From here, let's take those legs and close them in. Step touch, closing in. Soft knees, sit bones sticking back out, finding the inner thighs. Good. And we're going to take those arms and pull them in. In. So as the legs pull, the arms pull in. Cross one hand in front of the other, alternating. And use that exhale, contract through the waistline. Four, three, two, one. We're going to keep it wide. Pull the arms back, back. Open the chest, open that collarbone. Find a little bit of those back and shoulder extensors here. Lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, good. From here, let's turn it out. Turn it out. Take a plie down and up. Nice and easy, knees over the heels. Find that stretch on the inner thigh and the groin. Down. Good. Four. Three. Two. One more. We're going to do it into a lunge, so I want you to pivot that left foot in, turn to the right and straight down, split squat, and lift. Weight is in my front, right heel. Toss that tail down so the pubic bone is zipping up to your rib cage. Four, three, two, one. Let's take it back down and hold. Now tip forward, chest over the right knee. My back leg is now straight. My hands are reaching for my ankles. Straight arm back to lift above my bum. And down. Exhale, close the ribs, lift the belly. And move those arms. Lift. Can we roll the collarbone open? Shoulders rolling down and back toward your bum cheeks. Good, four, and three, and two. Last one, hold it up. From here, triceps, bend the elbows and stretch. Again, keep lifting the belly and word it up, away from your thigh. Keep that right knee bent, weight in that right heel, down into your toes. Left hip facing the floor. Four, three, Two, one, good. Bring yourself back to vertical. Soft the knees, come back to your plie. Good, straight up and down. Feels a little lopsided, my right leg is so much more fatigued. Three more. Two, one, good. We're gonna pivot the right foot and turning to the left. Good split squat, I'm on my right toes, straight down and up. Again, listen to that back knee. If it doesn't like to bend today, stretch that foot farther, make sure that leg is straight. We're going as low as we can. You're making sure your front left knee is tracking forward in line with your second toe. Three, two more, one more. Beautiful, take it back down. Tip that chest forward over the front leg. Back leg is straight, turn the palms to the back wall. But again, extension, pull those arms back and lower. So pull into that belly, close the ribs, lift. And lift. Good, can we open that collarbone a little bit wider so we're not collapsing or hunching in that back? 
Let's pull that sternum forward. Both hips square to the floor, reaching forward, more or less to the front edge of your mat or reaching for your front foot. Last two. The last one, you hold it up. From here, it's your tricep. Bend those elbows and reach back. Bend those elbows and back. Try to keep it nice and close to your hips, right? Make room for the dumbbell for your weight, okay? But let's keep those arms as close to the body as you can the whole way through. Keep that front leg bent. Keep the belly, those ribs closing in. Three, two, one more. Beautiful arms straight down, lift that chest, bending the knees, rotate back to the front. Grand plie, legs are wide enough. Down and lift. Good, let's take those arms out, lateral raise. Work the top of the shoulder. Good, we're gonna keep the same pattern, same movement, but turn your thumbs up. So palms face forward. Good, four, three, two, we hold it down, stay low with the legs, arms up to the sky, palms are forward and down, palms are forward, come down in line with the collarbone, so you're not going to go any lower, parallel to the floor, back up, two, one more, Good, we bring those arms down, pulse the legs deeper, 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 deeper. Eight, seven, five, three, two, hold it. Left heel up, all the way up with the legs, and lower, keep the heel lifted. Get nice and high on that toe, lift that ankle as high as you can go. Pushing through your big toe, second toe, third toe. Three, two, one more. Good, bring it all the way back down. Flat foot, lift that right foot and lift. Lower. You got it. Good, two, one more, good, bring it back down, flat feet, pulse, deeper, 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 eight, seven, five, three, take it up, Woo. nice work, let's come down onto all fours right away, have the dumbbells nearby, grab water if you need it. My apartment is reaching close to 30, so I'm hot. I hope you guys are hot. <laughs> so let's come on all fours. Let's work on engaging our lower core, and then we can go into a nice plank series from here. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's just start like cat cow, get some mobility in that spine. So exhale, scoop to the belly, drop the tail on the head. Inhale, extend, pull your tail backward, your chest forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Round. So if you think about your sit bones, as you extend those sit bones, you get wider. Exhale, dropping under those sit bones, get closer together. Inhale, extend. And close those ribs as well. Last time. Round. And extend. And back. Nice flat spine. Good, curl those toes underneath you. Good, let's work on that belly breathing. Toes curled under, take a breath in. And as you exhale, scoop in pelvic floor, waistline and close your ribs. Don't change your spine, keep those tails high. Inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, zip up to the front of the pelvis, close those ribs. Feel everything lifting in toward your vertebrae. Inhale, 
Exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. Good. Now toes are curled under. We're rolling those shoulders back to engage our armpits. Hold those golf balls. Exhale, pelvic floor. Zip up to the front of the pelvis. Close your ribs. Lift your knees. Hold it until every drop of air is gone. And then inhale to come down. Exhale. Scoop in, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. Just that inch, right? Your bum doesn't need to go much higher. And down. Think that there's a marble on your back. Don't let it roll away. Exhale, pull into the pelvic floor, close those ribs. Balance that marble, lift the knees. And down. Last one, you're gonna hold it up. Exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage, lift, hold. Stay there, breathe into your back. Lift that low belly higher. Inhale. Keep your ears in line with your shoulders. Lift that low belly. One more. Exhale. And down. Take a little child's pose. Good. Lovely. Walk it to the right. Let's find that stretch down the left side of the body. Good. Coming back to center over to the left side. Find the stretch down the right side of the body. Good. Come back. Now we're going to go into a full plank. Let's stay on our forearms because we're going to come back and reuse our hands in a moment for quite a few. So let's come down onto those forearms. Again, when we're in our plank, we still got to work our belly, our abdominals have to lift as much as they were, if not more, than when you were just doing those four point kneeling knee hovers, okay? So take one leg back and then the other leg back and let's bring that chest forward so the nose is by your wrist or your thumbs, your bum is down. And then exhale, pull into pelvic floor. Feel that low belly lift, feel those ribs closing in. Inhale, and again, exhale, lift that pelvic floor. Feel that belly button really retract away from the ground. Inhale, and exhale. Good, knees down, take a moment. It should make that plank a lot harder, right? We really focus on that belly hollowing up. We're gonna do it again, three breaths. Bring yourself back. Roll the shoulders back, right? Let's keep them away from the ear. Nice long neck. Find your legs. Good. Bum down. Take a breath in. Exhale. Hollow at that belly. Feel those ribs closing. Breathe into your back. Exhale. Lift that pelvic floor. Zip up through the front of the pelvis. Close those ribs. Inhale. Exhale. And down. Beautiful. Side plank. I'm going to come to my right side. I like to come onto my forearm with my knuckles pointed forward. Okay. Just so that we're working on this lateral movement of the arm. I'll give you the option. You can have both legs bent or we can go to a full plank with our straight legs. So if they're straight, let's extend that top leg. Roll the shoulder back, lift the rib cage, and then lift everything and readjust that bottom leg. Good. So same thing here. Let's focus on that belly, that breath. Take the left hip forward. That's your center. And then exhale, zip it up. Tighten that belt. Close those ribs. Inhale. Exhale, pull in. Pelvic floor. Waistline, rib cage. Inhale. Exhale. Zip it inward and up. And bring it down. Other side. So if you did it with straight legs on the other side, you gotta do straight legs again here. Can't change it up. You gotta work the sides the same. Roll the shoulder back, lift those ribs. Good, lift your hips and extend both legs straight if that's where we're going. And good, hips are stacked facing front. 
Breathing out, exhale, zip it. Do up the buttons, do up the ribs. Inhale, exhale, zip it up. Feel that pelvic floor lifting inward and up, that blueberry drawing up. Exhale. Good, and down, rest. Lovely. Do a couple shoulder rolls for me. Good, from here. Make a nice gentle fist, those little imaginary dumbbells I used to do in class all the time, yeah? Circle your wrists. Try to keep the elbows still and circle the other way. Because we're gonna go back to a full plank on our hands this time and then rotate to our right side plank. Come back to center, rotate to our left side plank. If you need to modify this to your forearms, you can. Come into the I Dream of Genie. Stack those arms so that you can rotate easily. Okay, otherwise we're going straight arms today. So let's bring it back, get those hands under the shoulders. Take one leg back. And when you're ready, other leg. So again, three breaths, take a big breath in. Exhale, pull into that pelvic floor, waistline, close those ribs. Inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, close those ribs. Don't let your head fall, keep it lifted. Last breath, lift the belly button. Good, going to my right. Left hand goes high. Three breaths here. Exhale, pull into that pelvic floor. Waistline, rib cage. Exhale, pelvic floor, zip it up. Feel that blueberry lifting behind the belly button, those ribs closing in. One more breath. Good, back to center plank. Hold here for three breaths. Exhale, hollow at that belly. Waistline, ribs. Inhale. And exhale, feel that belly really lifting away from your mat. One more breath. Good, rotate left side, right hand high. Three breaths here, hips are stacked. Exhale. Inhale, nice big exhale, that's where that mouth, breathe. And breathe. Good, come back center, single breath. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, switch. Exhale, hold. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Good. Rotate left. Exhale, lift. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Come back center. Breathe out. Inhale to rotate, left hand high. Exhale. And down. Exhale, lift that low belly. Switching to the left. And breathe out. And back center. Breathe out. Lower your knees and take a rest. It's only Wednesday, isn't it? <laughs> I was about to say, let's get this workout on for the weekend, but no, it's Wednesday, middle of the week. It's all right, you can do it again on the weekend if you want to. It's on, it'll be recorded this time. Good, lovely work. Let's bring it back to all fours. Let's grab one dumbbell. We're gonna do some lateral raises, working our posterior fly, back of the shoulders. Yeah. We're gonna extend that right leg up. Funny enough, I posted this one yesterday on my Instagram. We're gonna do exactly how I did it there. Let's roll your shoulders back. Let's pull into that low belly. We're gonna lift the leg with the arm, but the leg is gonna stay in the air. So it's just the arm that's gonna end up being moving, okay? Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, draw the pelvic floor inward and up. So you find that contraction. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, contract the waistline, lift the leg and the arm up. Hold it here. Inhale, lower that arm. Exhale, lift it. Feel the low belly lifting as well. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift it. Stretch through that right knee. Last time, lift the arm, hold it high. Hold it up. Roll the shoulders back, collarbone is open. Lift your low belly. Lift that low belly. One more big breath. And down. Lovely. 
Let's release it, we'll go to the other side. The left leg is back, dumbbell is in the right hand. Again, right arm is going out to the sidewalk. So take a breath, find that contraction. Good, now you know what you're aiming for, inhale. Exhale, lift that contraction, lift the leg and the arm. Leg stays high, inhale, lower the arm. And exhale, lift. Exhale, low belly, connect those suspenders. Last time, lift the arm, hold it. Hold it there, breathe in. Push yourself closer to the ceiling. Exhale, low belly, hovering inward and up. And one more. And down, rest. Go ahead, shoulder roll. Nice work, good, good. Leave the dumbbells down, grab your ball. Again, if you don't have a squishy ball, that's okay. Maybe you wanna use a pillow. A roller will help too. A roller will just be a little bit harder. As long as it's not spiky, don't use a spiky one. But we're gonna come back as if we're gonna do a modified plank. So we're gonna come back onto our right forearm and we're gonna put that ball underneath our waist and our ribs. So we know when we're sinking. So I don't want you to sink, I want you to be lifted, hovering above that ball, hovering above that pillow or that roller. Excuse me, above that roller. Okay, we're gonna take the top leg long, roll that right shoulder back, lifting those ribs and square up those hips. Yeah, flex that left foot. And as you exhale, lift the belly, lift your leg. And down, lift the leg. Can we pull that leg back an extra inch behind us? Lift just to make sure it's going into your bum and not the front. Good, low belly, rib cage closing. Four more, three more, two. Last one, I want you to hold it up. Take your left hand behind the back of your head. Now we're gonna rotate, hold the leg backward and turn your chest down. So my left elbow is pulling forward to the front wall. Come back, center elbow to the ceiling, leg in line with the center of my mat. Pull the leg behind you, rotate down, and come back to where you began. Again, you can't sink. You gotta stay up and over that ball, over that pillow. Inhale. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, lift. One more time, exhale, squeeze that left bum cheek. And up, and down. Let it go. Beautiful. Take it down to the floor. My right arm becomes my pillow. Good, activating those deep pelvic floor muscles. We're gonna put the ball underneath our hand. Pillow will work too. Ultimately, a roller is going to work too. It's not going to give you any give or feedback, but the activation of pushing on something is going to help. Okay, so fingertips facing your nose, right? Roll the shoulders back so the collarbone is open. Take a nice big breath in. And exhale, zip up that pelvic floor. Close your ribs and push down on the ball. Feel that lift on the right side of your waistline. Inhale. Exhale. Zip up that pelvic floor, tighten that belt, close the ribs together. Inhale, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. And one more time, exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. Good, now can we do that while we do our clamshell? So heels stay glued together. Exhale, pelvic floor pushing with the arm. Rotate the knee open and lower. And exhale, open. Find a little extra squeeze around that sit bone at the top. All right, so exhale, lift your belly, rotate, and then squeeze that left bum. And down. And exhale. Press with that arm, exhale. Open the leg. And two. One more time. Beautiful, very nice. Let's keep the legs bent. 
flex the foot and lift it up so it's hip distance or parallel to the floor. Pull the leg back behind you, find the stretch in the front of the thigh and little tiny pulses back, back, back. Can we push into that ball as you push the leg back? Lift the belly, push the leg, push the hand. Two, push to hold it back. Now lift the leg up and down. Reach for that back corner. Tuck your tail a little bit. Really think of that pubic bone pressing forward to the front wall. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Down rest. Good. Let's stretch out this leg. Can we grab a hold of the foot? Put it down in front of your bottom knee. Hold the ankle if you need to, but your bottom leg should act as a rest to make sure it doesn't slide. And then if you can, you put your hand on that left leg to push the knee toward the ceiling. Should be a stretch in that bum. It might be a stretch in the front of the thigh, the hip. Good, let's release it, grab onto your foot. We'll do a quadricep stretch. Pull your foot to your bum and your knee back toward the wall or the corner behind you. Again, tuck your tail here so you really push that left hip forward. We feel the low belly lifting inward and up. Feeling a nice stretch going over the top of the thigh. You might feel it move toward your knee. The more you tuck the tail, the higher you're gonna feel that stretch in the leg and over the pelvis. Good, we'll let it go. Let's bring yourself up and over to the other side. So bring the ball with you. Again, we start propped up on that forearm. Legs are bent. With that ball underneath your rib, underneath your waist. Good. We're going to take the top leg long. Good. From here, roll the shoulder back so you lift those ribs. You're not sinking anymore. You're trying to lift and hover above that ball. Good. We're going to zip up that belly and lift that right leg up and down. Exhale to lift it. Pull it back just a little bit. Keep that work in the back, in your bum cheek. Four, three, two, we're gonna leave the leg lifted. Take your hand back behind your head. We're gonna rotate, pull the leg to the wall behind you. Rotate forward and back up. Good, again, pull the leg backward behind you. Rotate forward and center. Rotate and center. Good, rotate. Center. Breathe out, lift the belly button, lift those ribs so you can go up and over that ball, that pillow. Keep the leg high, very parallel to the floor. Last one, exhale. And back up. Good, bring it down. Lovely. All the way down. Good, legs are bent. We're gonna start activating the pelvic floor muscles here. So, hand on top of that ball. Legs are bent for now. Let's exhale, press that ball, lift that pelvic floor. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib kiss. Let it go. Exhale, pelvic floor, waistline, rib cage. Let it go. And exhale, feel that left side of the waistline lifting away from the ground. 
Go ahead, add in that clamshell here. So exhale, opening that right knee. Squeeze that right bum cheek at the top. And again, exhale. And breathe up. Exhale, reach. Good, exhale, lift that low belly, press the hand, open the knee, squeeze your bum. Last one here, exhale. Beautiful. From here, keeping the knee bent, foot flexed, lift it parallel to the floor. And exhale, pull it back, find the stretch in the thigh, squeeze your bum cheek, and little pulses. Push the leg, push the leg. Now can we push with the hand at the same time? Push the leg, push the hand. Push the leg, push the hand. Breathe. Four, three, two, hold it back. Keeping it back there, keep the pressure on the ball, lift that leg up and down. Think of your shin reaching up the corner of the back of the room. Lift that low belly, feel the belly button lifting up and away from your mat, back and toward your spine. Three, two, one more, down rest. Nice, good, let's take the ball out. Let's grab that foot, let's stretch it out. Gently pushing the knee, the thigh away from you. Good, and release it, grab onto your ankle, your foot, pull it toward your bum, and pull that knee down to the center of your mat or toward the back wall, and tuck your tail. Connect those suspenders between your ribs and your hips. Good, we'll let it go. Lovely, let's come onto our back. Good, and let's fire up these abs and open these hips a little bit. So let's take the ball underneath our bum. Again, it can be a roller, right? Just hold on to that roller and bring your legs up tabletop. Just to start with a stretch again, I want that right foot to fall. You can gently hold that left leg in and slide that right heel out along your mat as long as you can go. And I want you to tuck your tail. So really feel your pelvis pushing up to the ceiling and push down with your right leg. Good, release it. Bring that right leg in, we'll put the left foot down, slide it out as far as you can go. I want it to stay connected to the floor, right? Again, tuck your tail, squeeze your bum cheek, push the left foot down into the ground. Good, and release it. Let's bring our legs up to the sky. Let's take those sit bones and reach them over the ball so that you're not collapsing in the lower back. 
We're lifting our pelvis to stay on top of that ball. Soften those ribs so they don't flare. And we're gonna go scissors, right leg down. And up and switch. Just to open up those hips a little bit. Switch. Switch. Keep checking in, where are your sit bones? Where are they pointing? Keep them pointing to the bottom of your mat. Keep those ribs closing in. Two, one, beautiful, bring it back in. Hug the knees to the chest, get a nice little stretch. Good, we're gonna bring our legs down. Take the ball out. I want you to try these next exercises with our bum on the floor, okay? So we're gonna bring our legs to tabletop. Take the ball between your lowest legs, just above your ankles, right? Again, it can be a pillow. Hands down at your side, open up the collarbone. We're gonna go right into a double leg stretch today. So think suspenders, feel the lower back sinking into the ground. Take a breath, inhale, prepare. And then exhale, pull into that pelvic floor, stretch your legs out to the upper half of the wall in front of you and bring it back. Exhale, scoop into that low belly, pop in those ribs, extend the legs, and in. If that feels easy, take the legs a little lower. But let's make sure that our ribs stay anchored, our lower back is sinking. Our ribs are closing in, exhale, belly dropping away from your shirt. Two. One more time. Good, bring it back in. Now, similar idea, the legs are gonna be straight but turned out. So lift them for the ceiling and externally rotate. If you can stretch your ankles, do that. Stretch the knees as much as you can. And again, let's pull into that pelvic floor, lower back heavy. Take a breath. Exhale, pelvic floor draws in, ribs close. Legs are gonna lower down to the upper portion of the wall and come back to the ceiling. And exhale, lower them away. And back to the ceiling. Keep that rotation. Exhale. Good, two more. Exhale, lower back stays connected to the mat. If you feel like you're gonna lose it, those legs should better be coming back up. Last time. And up. Beautiful, bring it down. Good. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Good, and let the legs fall to the left and fall to the right. To the left, to the right. Nice little windshield wipers. Good. And then we'll come back, bring those feet back to center. We're gonna work some chest lifts today, taking the ball between those legs to activate the inner thighs to help with that pelvic floor. Link your fingers, place them to the back of your head and gently lift your elbows for me. So press through the heels, the big toe, the baby toe, nod your chin, okay? Most important is that the belly is sinking. Take a nice big breath in. Pelvic floor waistline rib cage. Curl in your shoulder blades up. Let the head be heavy in your hands. It's your shoulder blades pushing you. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale. Exhale, pelvic floor waistline rib cage lift. Inhale. And exhale down. Two more. Exhale, pelvic floor. Good, one more time, exhale, curl, lift. Good, now I wanna find this rotation, so stretch your arms, grab the back of your thighs. We're gonna keep the left hand pulling us in. Take the right hand and reach it onto that left leg. So you can feel that rotation. Come back to center, left hand goes over top of the right hand. Come back to center, and again, rotate. So you can notice that you're staying lifted in that curl and you're leaving one shoulder blade at a time. Good, center, hands back behind your head. Take it down. So we have to support the head in the hands. We're gonna do that again. 
but keep the head in the hand. So now think of your elbows reaching for your thighs, okay? So a little tension on that ball. Exhale, pull into that pelvic floor. Soften those ribs as you curl your shoulder blades up. Good. Elbows, connect them to your thighs if you can in your mind. And then rotate, right elbow over. Center, left elbow over. And center. Try not to close those arms. Right, keep them open around your face. You gotta rotate your armpit. Let's go one more each side. Tension on that ball. And last one, back to center and bring it down. Nice, good work. Let's release it. Let's come over onto our belly. Good, so let's keep that ball or your roller. Take it forward in front of us so your hands are on top. You got the ball, one hand stacked on the other. You have a roller, take your arms, shoulder distance or a little bit wider, okay? So from here, I want you to squeeze your legs together, tuck your tail, try to get your pelvis to sink into the floor and let's push the ball forward, letting your head fall down between your arms and lift the shoulders, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Now from here, exhale, tuck the tail, pull your pelvic floor in, pull your shoulder blades back. That's it, just the scapula moving. Inhale, arms forward, exhale, pull it back. Inhale, exhale, pull it back. Inhale, pull it back. And pull it back, hold it there. So lots of space around the ear, around the jaw. Good, we're gonna come up higher. So tuck that tail and lift the crown of your head. Look at the ball, lift the chest, tuck your tail, tuck your tail, tuck your tail, and then come back down. So I don't want you to collapse into the lower back. I want you to actually think that you can lift your hip bones, the front of your pelvis, front pockets with your ribs. So roll your shoulders back, pulling your eyes forward to see the ball, to see your hands lifting higher to go look at the baseboard. Maybe you can see the wall and then come all the way back down. So you're gonna squeeze your bum cheeks a little bit to support you. And again, roll the shoulders back, tuck the tail. And back down. And one more time, exhale, pulling to lift. And back down. Nice. From here, let's take it down, hands onto the floor, into your football goal pose. So 90 degrees at the elbow. I really want you to find as big of a position with your arms as you can. So don't let those arms be nice and close because that's going to get your shoulders all up by your ears and you're going to feel crunched. I want you to really open those arms wide. Let your nose rest on the floor, okay? And tuck your tail. So our arms are now glued into this really wide position. You're wide in the shoulder blade, wide in the front of the collarbone. We're gonna press those forearms into the ground to see if we can lift the chest, which means you're gonna lift your face with you. So exhale, lift that pelvic floor, waistline, close those ribs, press with those forearms, and then down. Roll your shoulders back and feel all of that work in that armpit. Exhale. Shoulders back, feel the armpit. Feel openness across the collarbone and down. And exhale, let's make sure we lift that belly button. Keep that belly button lifted until you need to breathe in. And exhale, lift. Good, come down so your nose is an inch off of your mat. Hold it here. Now as you exhale, lift your belly, lift your arms. Straight up off the floor and back down. So your elbows and your hands lifting up and down. And exhale to lift and down. Lift. Last one, lift and hold it. So tuck that tail, pubic bone stays anchored, arms are up. Stay here, breathe in. 
Exhale, draw the pelvic floor inward and up. Soften those ribs. Inhale. And exhale, pelvic floor. Waistline, rib cage. One more time. Exhale, pull into the waist. And down, rest. Good. Lovely. From here, let's just bend those knees. Take your legs a little bit wider. And let the legs just fall left to right. Loosen up any tension in that back. Good. And then bring it back. Good. We're going to lift those legs to work your bum cheeks. Okay? So we can stack our hands one on top of the other, forehead to the hands. Bring those legs back together and tuck your tail. As you exhale, lift your belly, stretch those legs to hover the floor. Good. Both legs will lift higher and down. Both legs go up. Breathing out. Breathe out, lift that low belly. Four, three more. Two, hold it up. Flutter kicks, right, left, right, left, right, left. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Long in that lower back, so that's why we're tucking the tail into the floor. Three, two, one, bring it down, rest. Good job, push it back, child's pose. Stretch it out. I like to curl my toes underneath. So I'm waking up my toes, the arch of my foot. Good, bring it up. Now we're gonna take a lunge, but I wanna move through the lunge today. So let's bring our right leg forward. Good, and if you have your dumbbells nearby, let's use them as extensions of our hands. Okay, so they're gonna prop you up a little bit. We're gonna push our hips backward. We can walk back with the hands. We can walk forward to come forward to the lunge. Walk it back, walk it forward. Walk it back, walk it forward. Good, stay forward, hold. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders. Good, we're gonna let it go, and we're gonna change legs. You wanna get a little bit of movement in those hips, in the pelvis. So left leg forward in that lunge. Good, we're gonna walk it back, find the hamstring, pull it forward. Can you think of lifting your tail higher so maybe you get a little stretch in the lower back too, or a stretch over your left bum cheek? Good, and stay forward. Tuck that tail, lift up through the belly. Good, and let's release it. From here, let's come onto all fours and extend the right leg out to the side. So that goalie stretch, inner thigh stretch. And just gently rock forward and back. Good, can we lift that tailbone, keep it high. Stay on top of that left leg, on top of your hands. Good, and bring yourself forward so that you're on top of your hands. We're gonna take the right hand high to the ceiling. Rotate open, and then thread it underneath your left armpit. Open up, and rotate. Open, and rotate.
Last one. Good. Come back center. And we'll change sides. Extend that left leg out. And when you have it, keep your tail high, rocking backward and forward. Good, let's keep the weight forward on the right hand, left hand opens high. And we'll rotate underneath to the right and up and rotate. Last one. Good, bring it back. Let's find our downward dog. Throw those toes under. Let's lift the bum nice and high. So be up high on those toes. And walk the dog one heel, then the other. Let your hips sway. Let them move here for now. Good. And then rise up nice and high on the toes. Pull your chest back toward those thighs as you soften your knees a little bit. As we breathe, close those ribs in. Keep trying to pull the belly and close the ribs and slowly soften your heels. My knees are still bent for now, keeping my sit bones, my tail high for the ceiling. Close the ribs. Good, and then walk your hands back to the feet. Get those heels all the way down. Take a moment, release the head, release the shoulders. And we'll roll it up, exhale, scoop through the belly, drop the tailbone, stack the spine, lift the chest. Good, take a nice big breath, high for the sky, inhale, and out. And one more time, all the way up, and out. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs, give it a little wiggle, and you're all good for the rest of the day. Enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. Thanks, Christina. Welcome. Thank Have a great day. day. That was great. Great workout. Thanks.